Hey, we're back with another setup tip and uh, trick video. Hey, uh, Mangiophobic here. Um, what we're going to do today is make a little tool that I came up with a few years back uh, to help us seat um, the um, fist ring capos into the fingerboard. And the tool that I'm going to use is something very familiar, very simple. It's actually an industrial razor blade. I have removed the cap of the blade very carefully with a small screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Now, I don't have to tell you that these blades are very sharp. So if you're going to try this trick and make this little tool, you need to be very careful because these things will cut you very deeply. But what I'm using is an industrial uh, block of steel that has embedded industrial diamonds on it and I use this for a lot of things around shop sharpening tools I use it for leveling frets but you could use a block of wood or any any solid surface with sandpaper say 220 320 sandpaper and what I have done is after I removed the top actually removed the top after I did the deburring I, I, I ran this blade across these industrial diamonds making sure all the corners all the sharp edges were dull this thing is very dull I mean it, you, you couldn't cut a stick of butter with this now, which is what we want. And I used a small screwdriver to work my way underneath that metal cap so that I could remove this sleeve because this is too thick. And this measures out. I used a cal digital caliper uh, for illustration purposes. I hope you can see that in the video. This is kind of awkward. I'm trying to keep myself in the camera shot. This blade checks out at about 11 and a half thousandths. I have seen them go slightly over 12 sometimes down to 10, but anywhere within the 10 to 12 thousands range is ideal for seating your fifth string capo spike. And how are we going to do that? Well, you notice I have this thing dull. There are no sharp edges anywhere, but we have this nice little oval hole. What are we going to do with this oval hole? Well, I'm going to pick the iPad up. And we're going to walk our way over to this Gold Star Banjo, which I have laying on the workbench. And you see the spikes are already installed, and I've removed the fist string. I'm going to show you how I use this little tool. This little oval hole is going to go right over and under a capo spike. So you notice there that I can actually take this and you can, you know, put it over the spike and then pull back a little bit. And you can slide it to the corner if you like, whatever you want. And now I can actually use my tool which is a fret filled uh, fret filled duh <laughs> I can use a fretting hammer which is what I use to to seek these spikes and it's filled with shot so it's a dead blow hammer and when I tap the spike down it will eventually get to a point where you feel resistance where it's actually pushing into the metal of this uh, razor blade and I want just enough clearance so that I can get this under there this one measured it at 11.5 thousandths, so that's about how much space I have. So all of these spikes, have, I've used this tool. And this, is, this tool will last a long time, and let's face it, these razor blades are very cheap. So um, once you make this tool, uh, if it you know breaks for whatever reason, or you get just the get the gumption to make another one you know you can make hundreds of these very cheaply like I said I buy a bag of these things for uh, you know, seven or eight dollars for a bag of a hundred or something so they're very cheap and they this is actually one of the most used tools in my shop a razor blade so I just got noticing for some reason years ago as I was using this as a scraper or to cut binding or whatever I was using it for that I just kept noticing that oval hole and I thought hmm that's kind of neat. I wonder if that would fit over a spike. And it works really well. But again, be very careful if you decide to do this. Uh, dull the leading edge, the sharp edge of the razor blade first before you ever attempt to move the metal ridge cap. And But once you do get it removed also, the even though the other side of the razor blade is not sharpened, I'll still go over it with your sandpaper or your block get these sharp corners, anything that looks like it would cut you or stick you and get it dull. And once you do that, just be very careful you don't stress this metal too much because it is thin and it will break and cut you if it breaks. But if you take your time, be very careful. 
you have a nice little almost like a feeler gauge and uh, I know some people use feeler gauges to seat those spikes but it's kind of cumbersome to take a feeler gauge set and hold it on one side and hammer on the other this will actually stay on the fingerboard as you use it you just hook the spike underneath as I showed you in the video and there you have a handy dandy railroad spike stop I'll call this there you go hope you enjoyed the video and you get some use out of that tip we'll see you next time